Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to DevOps Lover YouTube channel. So today we are going to talk about what is Jenkins and how to do Jenkins setup. So first of all, Jenkins is very important tool which is used in DevOps infrastructure. So Jenkins is an open source tool which is helping you to achieve the continuous integration. It's also which is an automation server which enable developer around existing which is helping you to build test and deployment of your softwares so you can consider like uh, you were having the multiple applications with, with you and uh, you need to achieve the continuous integration so continuous integration is something multiple developers are working on the central repository and they need to achieve uh, their functionality where Whenever there are new functionality coming with that particular centralized repo, there should be automated test cases uh, execution is happening on the every new uh, code. So how to do that? So you should you will be required multiple integrations in that case and best practices. So Jenkins is helping you to have the continuous integration for your application. You can consider use cases like you have the application which is with java you have the application which is with npm you have the application with go so in that case you can just integrate this particular git repos with the jenkins and you can automate your build and deployment cycle by integrating uh, the various tool which jenkins is providing to you so jenkins is an open source and it's having the strong open source platform so by using that, you can integrate that with multiple tools and tech stack, such as Maven, uh, Docker, or SonarCube, or Kubernetes as well. So it's have the strong set of tool set, which is uh, it's supporting uh, by using plugins. So next part is how to do the Jenkins setup, correct? So Jenkins is an one Java application and it required uh, some setups to up your Jenkins continuous integration automation server. So how to do that? So prerequisite is you should have the idea about the Docker. So if you don't have idea about the Docker, so you can go ahead with my existing videos where I talk about Docker or Kubernetes or various other tools as well. So you can just go on that video tutorials and you can learn about what is docker and uh once you have the sufficient idea about docker so docker is an virtual container where you can bind your packages operating system level dependencies and your applications as well and with the single command you can create your virtual container for your application and you can just deploy that so jenkins is also having the docker support and if you have the doc idea about the docker you can easily set up that so let's see uh what are the prerequisite if you have to start with jenkins integration server setup so you should have the idea about the jenkins so that is very first setup uh very first step like if you are the devops person and you need to learn about jenkins so first of all, let's start understanding the use cases of Jenkins, why to use the Jenkins or why continuous integration is required, why there is DevOps and why the Jenkins tool we should select. So let's solve those particular queries first. And once you concluded like we need to go with the Jenkins, then the next step is there you have to do the setup of Jenkins. So if you are in the first phase of the learning Jenkins, what is the recommended way for setup? So that will be, you can go with the Docker, which is very easy. And with the few minutes, you can do the Jenkins setup. For that, you just require the Jenkins Docker image and the Docker setup with your machine. So this is an one prerequisite. So if you don't have Docker, you can install it. So these are, some set of commands where you can go with the installations and you can start with the Jenkins setup. So if you have the Docker, you can just install that. You can 
pull the Docker containers, you can run the Docker containers on local. So once that is done for the Jenkins, you can also pull the Jenkins Docker image. So this is the command by using Docker pull Jenkins slash Jenkins colon LTS. So by using that, you can pull the Jenkins Docker image. And once that is pulled, so this is the command by using this, you can pull that image on your machine. So once that is pulled, uh, you can, uh, that image is available in your local uh, setup. And after that, for starting Jenkins, you can also create a particular volume mounting data. So this is uh, the, this is the command for storing the Jenkins data by using volume mounting. So MKDR, then directory name, uh, you can create. And after that, once you have created that, that particular directory, you can run uh, the Jenkins by you mounting your Jenkins data with that particular directory. So here you can see we are executing the Docker run command. We are passing particular parameters uh, for this. This 8082 is your local container port or local port, you can say. This is the TCP port uh, where which is required for particular connections. And you can also pass the Jenkins name to this. You can also pass the volume mounting data. And by using that, uh, you can run it. So here, what is what does it mean? Like it's storing the Jenkins home path or Jenkins home data on the Jenkins data directory, which you have created in step three. So this is only the sim simple command where you can execute these commands and you can run the Jenkins setup. After that, once your image is ready or your image is pulled, you can just do, uh, you can check the Docker logs of your Jenkins setup and uh, here uh, with this particular output, you will be able to see your Jenkins setup is up and running. So once your Jenkins setup is up and running, you can execute or you can check like uh, this particular port with your browsers and uh, you can able to see your Jenkins setup is running. So initial password of login, the Jenkins will be stored in this particular path. So that you can just take from the logs as well as per this particular output. So once you copy that, you, uh, you can go ahead with the next slide and uh, the Jenkins setup will ask you for the installing particular plugins. So uh, to start with, Jenkins required few steps or few plugins uh, by default. So this is the recommended option like install suggested plugins so that you can just select. So in case user want to install particular plugins as per their requirement, they can go with the second option. But uh, normally if you are the beginner, you can go ahead with the suggested option. Uh, with the default plugin installation. So you just require the network for that. And if uh, that network is available on your machine, you can just easily set up that. So once uh, you have set up that, uh, your Jenkins setup will be up and running. So once that is done, if you want to uh, add a few more plugins, you can easily do that. So uh, with these particular steps, you can do the Jenkins setup. So I hope means you understand like there are only three steps. Uh, you just require Docker. After that, you can pull the Jenkins Docker image and you can just run that. So this three with this three setup, you can do the Jenkins setup and that will be available uh, on your machine. So this is how you can do the Jenkins setup. So in next video, we are going to do this as a live assignment and you can showcase like these are with these steps, you can do the Jenkins setup on local. Yeah, thank you.